Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Minnetal. Today we're doing the review on the One Wheel Pint after eight months, 500 miles. Let's get it started. I hope you're doing excellent today. I know that the conditions in the news and in the world are kind of gloomy. Today I hope to give a pause in for us to talk about something that we all love, which is the one wheel pint. I am excited to do this review. We dropped one yesterday on the XR. I do own both. Some background to my one wheel experience. I came from a boosted board to a one wheel and fell in love immediately as we live in the tundra of Minnesota and those electric skateboards are fun, but yet they do not ride well on snow and ice, whereas the one wheel does. And yes, the pint handles those conditions, snow and ice, just as well as the XR. The riding experience is totally different of the two, but this video is not about that. I will link at the end a video where we do the difference between the XR and the Pint. This is the review of my opinion on the Pint, which is sitting right back there. Love that thing, okay? I love the way it rides. It carves so nice. The wheel is much more rounded than the Vega wheel that is stock on the XR. I love the compactness of it. I love the light bar. I love the look of it with the fenders and that you can customize it with the uh, fenders. Now, has it held up? Is it built as well as that tank, that XR that is a tank? Yes, it is. It's built to that quality. One of the things I appreciate and love about One Wheel is their quality control is through the roof. They brought out the pint they delayed some of their shipping, not to irritate us as the consumers, but to make sure that they were releasing something that they could be proud of and that would withstand all the wear and tear that we one wheel riders put through and that pint withstands it. Again, I've dropped that thing, I rode it through every condition imaginable and it withstands it. I have it all stock still, the tires still, the stock wheel, uh, all of the components on there are still one wheel components. After 500 miles riding in LA, in Minnesota, in Illinois, in all the terrains, that thing is worth what you're, I mean, it's $900. It's so worth it. It's like, wow, yes, yes, please give me more of that. Okay. The foot pads on it, they are top shelf, top of the line. I enjoy them. The grip tape is holding up as I have abused the mess out of it, rode through snowy days and watery days and puddles. It's just withstanding the abuse. Here's the real test on the pint. Eight of my, or six of my eight kids, I almost said like 16 of my eight kids, but no. I have eight. Yes, that's a lot. Yes, quarantining eight children right now is a lot, but hey, it's fun actually, it's like a party. We're riding our one wheels a ton. And to see what my kids do with their one wheel pints, they are abusing the mess out of them. Like you're trying to teach them, hey, you don't need to just jump off and let it crash into the tree or different. Withstanding every bit of abuse that a four to a 12 year old could possibly put on the pint. Built so strong. The ride on it, I just want to go back to that. That ride on it is so enjoyable. I've not put a treaded tire on it. I've heard that is that a treaded tire on there is a lot of fun and it changes the ride and I might do that at some point when this one goes bad. The Bluetooth that I was frustrated with the XR, the connectability through the app in the um, Pint is so much more efficient and better than the XR. I don't know what it is about the XR and the Bluetooth technology, but the Pint, it connects well to the app. It does not log off or searching for one wheel. It allows me to know all kinds of things that are happening in, in my ride from wheel slippage to you're almost out of battery, return home. Love that Bluetooth connectability, but I did not buy the Pint for the Bluetooth. I bought it for the ride and that it would withstand the pounding and the use that I would put through uh, the device through. The finished product of the pint is so, so dialed in. Well done to One Wheel for doing that. And to get 500 miles out of it in pretty rapid pace, in my opinion, as I switch back and forth from the XR in the pint, 
I, I really am excited about that. And I, it's hard to choose every day which one I'm going to ride because the riding is so different. And they can all withstand all the terrain and everything. The mag handles on the Pint are so awesome. You can get the Mag Handle Pro, I think it is, which is metal and has a little bit of a rubber gripping on it. That's cool too. The handles are so cool. It adds to the look, and those handles are robust. I just like the sleekness of it. You can see the intentionality in the design. The light bars handling very well. It's handled everything. It's got water on it. It's rode through snow. It's been dropped, and it's does its job. It lights up. You can see it during the day and the night. I really have yet to have any issues with my pint. After 500 miles and traveling all over the world with the thing, I've yet to have a problem with it. it and, and here's the deal, is that I have my personal pint and then I have six other pints. So we have a lot of information on the pints to share that out of all seven of them, we've not had any issues. Hopefully we're helping you. We've got a slew of other videos about the one wheels. We play games with them. We race them. All those things on this channel. So subscribe if you're into one wheel content. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you a suggestion. If you like one wheels, you should subscribe. Give us thumbs up and leave a comment down below with your experience of the one wheel pint. I love to hear everybody's experience. It might be different than mine and we can all learn together. That said, I have, I, I have given you my opinion. I have shared about the pint. Tomorrow, we're going to have a ride along. I'm gonna go out and film riding my one wheel pint with, with the golden fender on there. I'm into gold and black at the moment, and so we painted this. We're gonna ride around Minnesota, and we're gonna talk about the state of Minnesota and the social distancing and quarantining. So, that will drop tomorrow. That said, everyone, have a fabulous day. Wash your hands, stay away from those that are coughing. If you don't feel well, I hope you get better soon. See you guys, till the next one, bye.